Bullis' defense rises to challenge and win over previously unbeaten Landon. With their team leading Landon by three touchdowns late in the third quarter, Bullis' students struck up a chant. It's a blowout. They yelled in unison, emphasizing each syllable. It's a blowout. Three score games aren't often declared dead before the fourth quarter, but on an afternoon in which the Bulldogs' defense held Landon to 60 total yards, the fans had a right to feel confident. The Bears' only score would come minutes later, a fumble return for a touchdown being the only highlight from a 21 6 Bullis win. We had no doubt that our defense was going to shut them out, Bullis junior running back Eric Ngn said. Ngn's one yard touchdown run was the only score in a first half that was ugly for both of the Interstate Athletic Conference's undefeated teams. While Landon, 5 1, 0 1, struggled to find any kind of rhythm offensively, Number 17 Bullis, 6010, took a while to pull away because of penalties. The turning point came early in the third quarter, when an errant snap by Landon was scooped up by Bullis junior linebacker Joe Von Campbell and run back 40 yards for a touchdown. As the ball rose above the fingertips of Landon quarterback John Geppert, Campbell burst through the line, spun past Geppert and grabbed the bouncing ball mid-stride. He sprinted to the end zone as his teammates ran along the sideline with him. Number 5 to Matha dropped second straight, this time not to number 13 good counsel. A similar thing happened earlier this year against Avalon and I didn't get the ball, Campbell said. So when I reached the end zone today I thought finally. That's my first high school touchdown. With a 14-point lead, Bullis gave the Bears an even larger dose of Mkun riding the junior running back for 21 carries and 96 yards. As he rumbled between the tackles, carrying linemen and linebackers with him for an extra yard or two each time, large chunks of time came off the clock. The Bulldogs coaching staff trusted its workhorse back in any situation, including a fourth and five early in the game. I love to have the pressure on my back, Ngun said. I tell my coaches to just give me the ball and I'll get the yards for them. Why solidifies number one ranking in 58-14 win over Oxen Hill? Ngun's quarterback, senior Tucker Strachan, had an up-and-down day. An interception in the first half killed some of the Bulldogs' offensive momentum, but his 15-yard touchdown toss to junior Bryson Shaw started the chance in the third quarter. Strachan finished 7 for 12 for 62 yards. Though both teams entered the game undefeated, their paths to this IAC showdown differ drastically. Bullis's previous two wins were against Montgomery County Power Quince Orchard and then undefeated St. Mary's Ricken from the CAC. Landon had beat their previous two opponents by a combined score of 81-0. They haven't really had a test like we have this year, Ngun said. We knew it would be a dogfight for us today and I guess they weren't